right, if we can go ahead and grab our seats, please. Looking at my watch, it says 10.30, and anyone who knows me, if, if I schedule something for 9 o'clock, everyone needs to be there at 9 o'clock. So we're going to go ahead and, and try to get started. I know everyone has a full day, a full day today. It's Friday, and so we'll try to make sure not to keep you too long. But I do want to start off by just thanking you all for being here. For those who don't know me, my name is uh, Judge Cynthia Adams. I'm one of your Superior Court judges here in the county. I see Judge McLean, uh, also one of our Superior Court judges uh, that's out here in the audience. Judge McLean, if you can just wave for us, please. <laughs> Judge McLean is over our drug court uh, as far as uh, our accountability courts. I uh, preside over mental health court. Judge Emerson, who had a conflict for this morning, couldn't be here, um, but he does send his greetings, and he's excited as well about the parental accountability court that's, uh, that's starting uh, here in Douglas County. We're so excited about this, uh, about this, uh, this program that's starting here. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair, for being here. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Carthen, for being here as well. Um, Thank you all uh, for just taking the time out of your busy schedule uh, for being here. Uh, those of you who work here uh, in the courthouse and um, some of our community partners that are here as well, uh, I would just like to welcome you uh, all here today. So just briefly, I'm, I'm going to be quick and just kind of give you a little rundown about the uh, Parental Accountability Court and how uh, it came to even be an idea here uh, in Douglas County. So this isn't something new. We, you know, we haven't uh, discovered the wheel or or uh, uh, create anything created anything uh, new. This is a program that uh, is actually running in several uh, of our sister counties in uh, throughout Georgia. Um, but this is a program that you'll hear a little bit more about in depth uh, once uh, our court coordinator, uh, Ms. Weaver, uh, comes up uh, and speaks to you. But I, I wanted to give you just a little bit of a background in terms of how this all got started. So back in uh, December uh, of 2017, just uh, probably about you know a year or so, uh, short of a year of, of being on the bench. I, I had just taken the bench in February of 2017. Joe Palmer, who's with uh, Child Support Services, walks up to my bench after court, and she says, someone's going to be contacting you about starting a parental accountability court. And, um, you know, I'm all, always uh, excited and always supportive about programs that can help individuals who are having issues uh, that's bringing them before me or bringing them before um, another judge. And in this case, it involved individuals who were delinquent in their child support payments. And I thought, well, I know nothing about this program. I know nothing about how this works. But it sounds like something that would be amazing to uh, introduce to, uh, to Douglas County and to, and to the citizens of Douglas County who are struggling with making their child support payments. And so without any further information, uh, I, I uh, indicated to Joe that I would be happy to have someone from the Department of Human Services to contact me uh, so that we can talk about it further. And, and I think that someone must have been waiting in the wind for someone to say, yes, we're going to do it in Douglas County, because immediately Wendy Parker got in contact with me, and I was like, whoa, you know, I, I felt like there were things working in the background that I knew nothing about because immediately I was contacted by the department about getting the program uh, going and what we needed to do. But as soon as I sat down and I spoke to the team from the department, and we really kind of got in depth about what this program was about and how much it could help individuals who are struggling with uh, making child support payments and as a result, ending up in custody, I immediately knew that this was something that I was interested in bringing to Douglas County. And so the process started. Um, when you think about, uh, you know, some people might think about, well, someone's not paying child support, uh, you know, perhaps they, you know, they just don't want to take responsibility. They just don't want uh, to, to, to take uh, advantage of the jobs that are out there and meet their obligations. But uh, you have to take a step back and think about um, an individual who's not paying child support and what it all, all means. Um, in my life, I've worn just about uh, every hat 
um, that you can think of in the, in the justice system. I have been a prosecutor, and as a young prosecutor, I prosecuted uh, individuals who were uh, falling behind on child support or who were charged with abandonment because they weren't taking care of their children. And as a defense attorney, I defended individuals who were brought before the court and looking at being placed in custody because of uh, their failure to meet their obligations. Um, and then I worked in the juvenile court arena, and I got to witness firsthand the impact that the failure to pay child support, the failure to support your minor children can have not only on those children, but also on the families, um, and then as a result on the community. Um, and now as a judge, I get to hear people come before me and I can really see the holistic picture of the impact um, that non-payment of child support has. Because when you think about it, think about uh, that child who's not getting the, the financial support that they need. Um, they're not getting the necessities that they need to go about um, their daily lives and, and to go to school feeling uh, confident because they're able to get the clothes, the proper clothes uh, that they need. Think about that custodial parent who's not getting that support. And so they're stressed out. Um, and so they're trying to work several jobs to make ends meet. And as a result, they're not there for that child um, to support that child educationally. Um, and then think about uh, the non-custodial parent who's probably frustrated because he can't pay child support. He's in arrears. Um, perhaps he's dealing with some substance abuse issue or mental health issue. And as a result, He's not paying the support, and what happens a lot of time, times? That custodial parent says, well, look, you're not paying child support, so you don't get to see the child. And so it causes this, this, this horrible dynamic of person not paying child support, not being able to see the child. The child is suffering because they're not having a relationship with that parent. The child is alienated from, from the non-custodial parent. And a lot of times, this ends up uh, in delinquency issues, dependency issues. We see those, those children in court. We see the frustrated custodial parents. We see the non-custodial parents ending up in custody. So when you look at it as that big picture, you see how important this is to Douglas County. You see how it affects our community. Because you have children who are growing up in these environments, and they become members of the community and members of society. Uh, and it becomes a revolving door. And so I'm excited. I'm excited that I was contacted, that Joe Palmer came up to, to my bench that day. And I'm excited that Wendy Parker got in contact with me. And I'm excited that, uh, that Judge Harrison um, agreed to uh, be the designated judge to, to preside over parental accountability court. Because again, without all of the individuals who are involved here stepping up and being willing to participate, this is not something that could have happened in Douglas County. And without you guys, our community partners, those that we are going to rely on uh, to make sure that this program is a success in Douglas County, we could not do it without you. So this kickoff is not about us. Uh, it's about the people that we're ultimately going to be able to help. It's about the success stories that are going to come out of this program. It's about the, the mothers and the fathers who are going to talk about how we all were able to help them get jobs, we're able to help them get housing, we're able to help them get back on their feet um, and support their children. And it's going to be the success stories from those children who uh, we will hear about how their lives became better because they had both parents involved and participating in their lives, not just uh, supporting them mentally, physically, uh, but also financially as well. So again, thank you for being here. Uh, Judge Harrison's going to say a few words. Uh, uh, again, I, I mentioned to, to Judge Harrison, we had our, our first court staffing uh, this morning, and we had our first uh, hearing uh, with our participants today, and it was amazing. And, and as I mentioned to Judge Harrison, again, uh, we could not have done this without her stepping up to preside uh, as the presiding judge for Parental Accountability Court. Thank you all again for being here, uh, and welcome. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to be very brief and, and just uh, mention what I see to be the biggest dynamic of all of this as it relates to Douglas County. We have accountability courts in Superior Court. We have an accountability court in Juvenile Court. 
Um, and we all deal with issues that are deeper than the law that we administer day in and day out. And what is significant is in this situation, because Judge Adams asked me to um, take over as presiding over these issues, I'm able to bring to the table all of the, the skills and talents and um, ideas that come out of juvenile court and bring them into the child support arena, which is typically a superior court issue, and to merge those dynamics so that we're actually working jointly together um, in our roles. And I think that adds an extra successful layer to this program because what I, at least what I saw today out of our participants were things that I deal with every day in juvenile court when it comes to mental health issues, substance abuse issues, housing issues, relationships with your uh, spouse and your children or your ex-spouse and your children and the lack of those. And one thing I thought about um, was that, you know, day in and day out, I see some pretty bad things in juvenile court, some very sad situations. And I never get the positive feedback because if I've made a difference, if we all in juvenile court have made a difference, those people don't come back to us. Once in a while, they'll come back and say, you know, thank you or say something nice. But generally, we don't see the positive. This is, at least as far as I'm concerned, my opportunity to see the positive effect that we are all making in this county for our community. So um, I am thrilled to have this opportunity. I think today went smoothly, went wonderfully, saw some, some amazing changes in our participants' um, facial expressions and attitudes, and um, I think all of the players that are involved are going to really move this program great. Um, as you all probably know, accountability courts are the up and coming activities for the juvenile system, um, not for the juvenile, for the judicial system. And this is just an added component to that. And we have nowhere to go but positively forward. And I would like to take the opportunity to introduce who is going to be the boots on the ground person, the person that's going to make all of this work wonderfully. And that is Miss Katrina Divine Weaver. And she is our coordinator. And I'm going to ask for her to come up and make a few words. Good morning. Again, my name is Katrina Devine Weaver and I am the Parental Accountability Court Coordinator for Douglas County. I would like to present to you the first Parental Accountability Court Program for the Douglas County Judicial Circuit. This program is so needed and so wanted in the community until people are amazed when they learn of what the Parental Accountability Court Program offers. This program helps reduce incarceration, assist with reinstatement of driver's license, and most importantly, help parents rebuild their lives, rejoin their families, and provide financial support for their children. My goal is to have a 100% success rate, but sometimes there are barriers, such as mental health, alcohol and substance abuse, and unemployment, which make these goals more difficult to accomplish. But with strong support from the Parental Accountability Court Program, and the resources here in the community, we have a greater chance of meeting these goals. Today, I would like to recognize the following resources because without these resources, these resources are an integral part of this program. So please stand as I call your organization. Douglas Community Service Board, West Georgia Technical College, Sweetwater Mission, Douglas County Sheriff Department, Cumberland Community Church, The Pantry, Good Samaritan Center, Goodwill Career Center, Douglasville Career Resource Center, WorkSource Georgia, Ambassador Personnel, Vision 21 Concepts, 
Briggs and Associates. <laughs> Diversified Sourcing, sourcing Solutions. <laughs> AAPL DUI and Defensive Driving School. <laughs> if there are any resources or partnerships I did not call, please stand at this time. I would like to introduce to you next, Georgia Department of Human Services, Chief of Staff, Gerald Hines. Good morning. Good morning. So on behalf of the Department of Human Services and our Commissioner Robin A. Crittenden, who couldn't be here today, um, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for all that you've done, um, Judge Adams. Thank you for allowing the Department of Human Services into Douglas County because we are very, very excited about this en endeavor. I'd like to welcome you to the kickoff of the Douglas Judicial uh, Circuit Parental Accountability Court. And I want to say a little bit about what the, also what the PAC Court is about. It's a joint effort between the Department of Human Services and the Superior Court judges to, to offer an alternative to incarceration to help our participants to become better positioned for self-sufficiency. This is done through judicial oversight and partnership with community resources, which help to eliminate barriers. I wanna thank again, Chief Judge David Emerson, Superior Court Judge Cynthia Adams, Juvenile Court Judge Michelle Harrison, and for partnering with us to provide this court to Douglas Judicial Circuit. I also wanna thank our PAC coordinator, Katrina Devine Weaver, Douglas Special Assistant Attorney General Joe Palmer, and to our Child Support Region Local Offices, Laura Lee, and I think she's here, Laura Lee, and Lisa Stiegel. And finally, again, thank you to our community partners for your dedication and support of our PAC Court. The success of this program is dependent on each and every one of you. So now I wanna turn it over to our Deputy Director of Child Support, and he's gonna give you a little bit more of the statistics around this program. All right, thank you, Chief of Staff Hines. Uh, my name is John Hurst. I'm the Deputy Director for the Division of Child Support Services. Um, I wanna thank everybody for being here today. We're really excited about this opportunity here in Douglas County. Um, so why are we so excited about this opportunity? Um, as mentioned before, PAC serves as an alternative to incarceration. It provides our participants an opportunity to overcome barriers, which make the, makes them more self-sufficient, not only in their ability to pay child support, but in, in, in all avenues of their lives. Um, so let me share a few numbers and, and statistics that kind of point um, out the success of this program. Uh, to start with, Judge Adams, and, Judge Adams and Judge Harrison's commitment is the 39th uh, Parental Accountability Court to get started here in Georgia. Um, the department's goal is to have PAC in all 49 judicial circuits by the end of June of this year, 2019. And I'm real excited to say that currently we have commitments that bring that total to 45 of the 49 judicial circuits. So we just got four left. And uh, point out some of the success of this program. Since 2012, over 6,200 non-custodial parents have avoided jail time um, and received assistance through the PAC program. And that has helped over 9,400 children receive benefits from, from these participants. Um, and also just a total of over $6.6 .6 million in child support has been paid by Parental and Accountability Court participants since 2012. In state fiscal year 2018, we, uh, over $1.2 million was paid by participants. And one of my favorite numbers, uh, 163 participants graduated from the program in state fiscal year 2018. So everything that we do in DHS and child support um, is committed to the vision of building stronger families for a stronger Georgia. The PAC program, of course, is a shining example of this as it helps all, all parts of the families, the, the, the fathers, the mothers, and most importantly, the children. Um, let me share some things that um, the program has kind of gotten some recognition with um, here in Georgia and also nationally. Uh, about this time last year, the late Honorable P. Harris Hines, Chief, former Chief Justice of the Georgia Supreme Court, delivered his State of the Judiciary Address. In speaking on criminal re justice reform, Justice Hines spotlighted Georgia's creativity in establishing accountability court programs. Um, in his speech, he focused special attention on Judge Brian Amaro's PAC program in Henry County. 
And in, close, in his closing comments on PAC, he stated, my friends, anytime we can safely reunite fathers, mothers, and children, we are helping to strengthen families, our communities, and our state. This is noble work indeed. Uh, last year in August, uh, in, in August, the Georgia PAC program received national recognition as it was awarded the National Child Support Enforcement Association's Innovative Partnership and Collaboration Award at the NCA Conference in Pittsburgh. And um, in late 2018, the, Ju the Judicial Council of Georgia's Administrative Office of the Courts released an evaluation report of the PAC program. The data from that report uh, reveals that child support payments increased by 79% when a non-custodial parent participated in PAC. So that's exciting news for our families. In closing, I would just like to acknowledge um, our PAC leadership team supporting this court. Um, again, our PAC program manager, Wendy Parker, um, our PAC um, program consultant, Susan Cosby, and our PAC supervisor for this region, Hamilton Bledsoe. And also would like to recognize Ms. Elaine Johnson from the Administrative Office, Office of Courts. They do a great job in supporting this program as well. Lastly, I would like to thank uh, members of the DCSS leadership team. Uh, we have a lot of PAC coordinators from other judicial circuits that are here today. Would you guys stand up, please? All right. So, so as you all can see, um, this, this program is really important to the division and the department, and the coordinators, um, they do the heavy lifting on this. They're meeting day to day with our participants, and they're establishing these success programs for them. Um, I, I encourage everybody here, when, when Douglas County has its first graduation, try to come to it, because that's where the, the, the rubber kind of hits the road on this. Um, a, a few months ago, um, former Governor uh, Deal was able to attend one of these kickoffs, and he was talking about um, some of the graduations he's been to, and, and if anybody that knows Governor Deal a little bit, he gets real emotional real easily. Um, he got a little bit choked up talking about him, but he made a comment that um, his son is a is a is a accountability court judge up in the north northeast part of the state, and he made the comment that he had to stop going to those graduations because he broke down every time. <laughs> uh, but he said he always tells his um, his pastor friends that if they ever need material for a sermon to go to one of these graduations because that's you know it, it's just all, all right there in front of you. Uh, but again, thank you for everybody for being here today. Um, we appreciate your support and we look forward to the success of this program. Thank you. And before I, I come to you with uh, closing remarks, uh, there are so many things that we do uh, in this county, um, but we know that there are so many things that uh, could not move uh, in this county without the support of our uh, commissioners and uh, certainly the support of our uh, of Madam Chair. And so I'm going to ask uh, Commissioner Jones to please come up. Madam Chair, if you would come up to say a few words. Good morning again. I am so delighted to be here today and um, on behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, this is huge for us. This is a huge uh, step in the right direction. So I would like to personally thank our judicial system and um, particularly uh, Judge Harrison and Judge Adams for moving the ball forward in Douglas County. This is, I'm, I'm humbled. I'm so excited to see what we are doing uh, here in Douglas County to move things forward. The Parental Accountability uh, Court Program is a joint effort of Georgia Department of, of Human Health Services, and I appreciate you all being here today. Thank you so very much. And also, uh, it offers an alternative to incarceration to help chronic non-payers of child support make regular payments. I'm just very delighted that we have taken the step to join the ranks with other counties uh, to um, embark upon an uh, initiative to support the needs of our citizens here in Douglas County to help assist with their payments of bills and uh, because it, it's not easy for everyone. And this tells me that uh, Douglas County has a heart. And so this is heartfelt today for me and also for my Board of Commissioners. And we thank you so very much for hosting this initiative in Douglas County. And I know that greatness is upon us and we will do great things and you all will too with these uh, citizens, uh, particularly with this uh, initiative. So I'm proud, and thank you so very much. And again, thank you, Judge Adams and Judge Harrison for doing this for our county. And let's give them a hand, you all. Again, on behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, we're delighted. 
to be here today. Okay, thank you. All right, so we promise not to keep you guys long, but uh, I'll close with this. Um, just to show you how important this is, uh, Ms. Warren probably didn't know that I would even mention her to, uh, today, um, but uh, in hearing what's going on, she had a question she wanted to know. So will this help uh, those individuals who are supposed to be receiving the child support, um, will this also help them? And the answer to that is simple, yes. Yes, because once that person's paying child support, it helps that custodial parent. And once that person's paying child support, that custodial parent is not having to fight and call and, and just go through all these struggles about trying to get the child support so that they can take care of their minor children. So Ms. Warren, yes, uh, it does help uh, that person who's waiting in the, in, in the wind, hoping that they'll get uh, the payment uh, from child support. So in closing, I'll say this. The point of this kickoff is simple. It's to get the word out to the community. It's to get the word out to individuals because sometimes these programs are going on and most people don't know that they're happening. So it's up to you as citizens of this county to get the word out to people that this program is available for them to participate in because there are many people who need help, who want the help, and don't even realize that help is out there. So thank you again for being here with us. Thank you for celebrating with us. We're excited about this program. I'm hoping that you guys are excited about We Are because uh, we're excited and so we, uh, we want to get the word out and I'm hoping that you're excited uh, and in your excitement you will help us get the word out. Mm -hmm.